Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And when you're working on a project, much like this Lake Travis map I've drawn, and I really want to look at it close, uh, you have to zoom in and zoom out or grab, you know, at that level, you can always grab the pan tool and then move stuff around. But sometimes I find it a lot easier to use the alt key and your arrow keys, which are actually your nudge keys, so if we zoom in here and I'm going to hold down the alt key and I'm going to use my arrow keys and it's just, so I went up, right, down, up, and that's all with the alt key. Now the alt and the shift key with your mouse and your rotation wheel of your mouse, you know, like right now the rotation is doing my zoom. But once I zoom in, I can hold the Alt key and with my mouse zoom wheel or my wheel, I can go up and down holding down the Alt key. If I hold down the Shift key, it'll go left and right. So if I really want to look at, you know, one part of the lake really closely, you know, I could actually zoom in some more and, you know, I don't want that sharp corner there. So, I, you know, I'd maybe go through and, and fix it because that's not a natural right click and turn it into a curve. And then I could turn that part of the, the landscape to a curve. But that way with the alt key, I can zoom around left and right, shift key, shift, shift key left and right, alt key up and down just by using the mouse wheel. And I stay at that uh, level, like right there. I want to maybe get rid of that uh, node because it makes it a cleaner sweep on my map. Anyway, Alt key, Shift key with your arrow keys and Alt key, Shift key with your mouse wheel. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.